Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode. Episode number what? 69. Yep, 69. Another episode number 69 of Let Me Just Say. And uh, we are back to you live and in living color. Um, not really live because you guys just listen to this shit whenever you want to. So it's um, on demand. Yeah, yeah no, we are terrible. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. We don't do it for you. We do it for us. And um, let me introduce my co-host. His name is at more obsessed Dodgers Blues underscore. Did I nail it? You got it. Yeah. No underscore though, right? No. Okay. But I don't care. Are we still going to find that guy that stole your original handle and has never tweeted? Uh, I mean, it's a life goal of mine, so yeah, I would like that. Okay, we'll we'll get on that soon. Once but, the um, world ends, that's going to be like my first stop on like collect. You know, like yeah. Once I set my survival plan up, like his house is where I'm going to go first to like raid. Okay, but you people. don't know you don't know where his house is, so well, it's like chess. You got to think three moves ahead. So first, we got to find out where Jack lives, which can't be that difficult. It's probably yeah, like big um, house Malibu. Is it? Oh, you know? No, okay. I don't. But I, I was thinking yes. Silicon Valley. Like Iron, man. Or figure all the nerds are. Probably. So we go him and then and then we um we strong arm him, me and you. Like we'll be wearing the Rambo kit with the crisscross uh seven six two ammo. Probably chains. just roll right up to Jack's house wearing that shit, no problem. Yeah. No, because it'd be the end of the world. Like all his little cronies are yeah. they're not getting paid anymore. So yeah. we'll just bribe him with some biscuits or whatever because he'll be starving. And um and then have we'll... you ever seen Jack? No, have you? No, that's I I don't even know if it's a real person. That's why we should probably start there at least. Wait, do you want to start? I don't even have this in my notes that I just wrote down 10 minutes before we started the show. Um, <laughs> About Jack? Yeah, he might be an alien because I don't know if you saw, but the government has confirmed that there have been oh, alien sightings. Oh, yeah, the old switcheroo. We, we, <laughs> the old switcheroo, I think, is going on with. That's yeah. what at least the Internet's telling me. They're trying to distract me from 5G. 5G is that what's going on? I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on, to be perfectly honest with you. My li- life is a total mystery right now to me. I don't even know if I'm supposed to go outside with a mask. Do I have to wear a mask yet? I don't know. I don't right know. now, my strategy is I'm just going to grow my beard out as long as I can, then I'll just fold it up if they need a mask. Because <laughs> like, I go out in public, and I feel bad because I see a person with ma- and then I'm not wearing yeah. a mask. So do they hate my guts? Because I like, but I don't no, know. No, because, I'm because all the... Yeah, all the Facebook posts I've seen shared say that I'm wearing this mask not for me, but for you. Yeah. So they're doing it for me. So yeah. you should just I be like, thank you for your service. Yeah, guy agree. Um, all yeah. mask wearers. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, shout out to the mask wearers. Um, you're better than me because <laughs> my face is already too hot. You know? Yeah, too, masks too are the worst. TV. Yeah, masks yeah. suck, dude. But then you have sunglasses on or something, and it's just... All the hot breath is just going up underneath your sunglasses into your eye, mm-hmm. fogging up your sunglasses, making your eyeballs hot. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah, I'm wrapped up Corona, I think. Well, no, that's that's bad. I take that back because people are dying from that. But wearing a mask really stinks. And, and I'm, I'm out on masks. And in my case, literally, it really stinks because chances are there's a 99.69% chance my breath smells like jalapeno kettle cooked chips. Because that's um, what I'm addicted to these days, and blame you. just not a, it's not a good situation. So, thank you to the mask wearers. I appreciate you thinking about me. And uh-huh. um, so, are we just gonna we're gonna do like the government, just kind of breeze over the aliens, or you got no more thoughts on? Because I know uh, growing I mean, up, I do is an unidentified flying object considered an alien, or is it just something that we don't know what the fuck was flying through the air at that moment? Like what? Because I see people rebuking. Is that is that a term? Rebuking. Yeah. Joel um, Most, or no, the preachers do it all the time. Not Joel <laughs> Osteen. He's his car salesman. <laughs> so people are rebuking the thought that it's an actual like well they didn't say aliens so is it an alien or is it just some shit that we didn't know at that time which what then is that shit because the people are saying they didn't say aliens they said just said unidentified flying object okay well what the fuck is an unidentified flying object then because i think the guys who are shooting those videos in their fucking f-16s they 
most of the people that they're talking to know who else is supposed to be flying at that current moment. Like, so, or they have access to figuring that out. So what exactly is, if not a alien, an unidentified flying object, do you know? I know that I watched a lot of Unsolved Mysteries as a child. <laughs> Did you? Wednesday yes. nights, Robert you know Stack. What's fucked up? Unsolved Mysteries, the beginning. It just scared me. Like, the Dude. Be- yeah, it was very eerie and scary. That, and, yes. You know? We, I'm laying the law down right now. We need that soundtrack to close us out of every That's episode. Scary, bro. I yeah. Can't. I got to we'll give people that nightmare. Night when I edit and for none of them to go to bed and have nightmares. Did I nail it? Is that pretty much it? It was very creepy. It was awesome, though. You love what you came back every Wednesday night, right? Or Thursday or whenever it was? I mean, Thursday, I think it was. If you have any information on tonight's whatever he said man his, i miss robert stack r.i.p bro <laughs> yeah r.i.p for sure he was uh, the, and like never does do you ever see that guy smile no he can't man unsolved yeah, mysteries what's what there saying. to be happy about yeah, yeah oh agree, what about but... when you'd be watching and they'd be like update and you're like oh shit. Him. yeah he got I'll, his ass yeah he got his ass. the update at the end hell oh, yeah. yeah i agree do you have one episode that sticks out in your mind right now? I mean, not nah, my. Come on, in my mind, I got, one. I got okay. one. I would love to hear it. So there was an episode where they're like um, mom Dukes, uh, and then her combat veteran son, or just maybe he's an army guy son. And then there was this crazy neighbor that was just walking down the street naked with a shotgun. Oh boy! And he just blasted his ass right there, and then he took off in a truck. Well, he wasn't even a neighbor; they didn't know who he was. But he just he like shot him right in the chest with a shotgun, killed him. And, and they got in his pickup truck? and then and took off. Yeah. A naked dude killed another guy and then just jetted. Yeah, because he was he was walk, walking down the street naked so that her yeah. army son like confronted yeah. him and said, Hey, got what it. are you doing, bitch? Yeah. And then the guy just pulled out his shot or he went back to his truck, pulled out his shotgun and ended him, man. Yeah. I don't know. That's shitty, but I don't know about stopping for anybody that's naked ever, man. Yeah, because you know they got a shotgun, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got and problems. A shotgun and problems, which never are good combination. I mean, if you're willing to walk down the street naked, you pretty much are saying, I don't care about any consequences that happen to me from here on forth. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that's a big uh, zero fucks given moment in uh, in life. <laughs> His, that's definitely for sure. Yeah, but, he def- he so definitely that's it? There's, there's, there, there was no update on that one? I can't remember if there's a... I mean, update, he's probably dead because the guy was old as fuck in 1987, so... <laughs> You know, All right, well, I'd like us to do some post-show uh, research on I'll that. Do some, yeah, I'll do some research. I'm sure somebody on the internet I don't like know. leaving mysteries unsolved, even though that was what the whole premise of the show was. There was, dude, there was another one where this, this arsonist was, like, burning down homes, and then he'd, he'd leave, like, videotapes, like, several miles in the woods, and he'd be, like, he had a creepy voice. He'd be, like, I think I saw that one. Omar, I call it home, and that <laughs> gave me nightmares for you yeah. to this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember that one, and it was just like the blurry or blurry, like grainy. Oh, yeah, VHS. VHS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, old, old Danny going... Tanner had ass over you know the shoulder <laughs> coat camcorder. Hell yeah. yeah, for real. I don't. I'm glad that I wasn't the only one who was kind of frightened by unsolved no. mysteries in a hole. It was, it was, it was a scary I, show. I think that was. I think that one was one that I had to like. I couldn't make it to the end of the show because I was already scared, and that was like the first, the first one. And they need to bring back unsolved mysteries. I don't man. know why. There's plenty of more mysteries now that go unsolved than back oh, then. Dude. I feel like I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't they know. Can't I find just... another Robert Stack though. That's the yeah. problem. That is a tough shoe to fill. Like, you, how do you bring that? How do you replace that? It's not like putting somebody. Uh, I mean, they replaced what's his name on fucking Bob Barker. So maybe they did. Oh yeah, old old fucking goofy head ass. Yeah, yeah. It still wasn't the same though. Wait, what's so, his name? Wait, uh, let's Drew let's Carey. ruin oh, oh, Drew damn, Carey. No. I'm on it. Uh, my brain is moving. I got Bob Barker and Drew <laughs> Carey in a matter of seconds. Fuck all y'all. We were supposed to do the thing where we upset Austin's Riley's rakes for like thirty <laughs> seconds. I mean, don't worry. We'll have another. <laughs> yeah, the show's the show just started. We're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we plenty of time. <laughs> I'll definitely forget something. I don't even yeah. know how I remembered fucking those two so quickly. <laughs> hey, you know what I remembered though? What a tweet you had today. You talking about uh, lawyers and lawsuits? Because I, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I noticed there's a mug, coffee mug, going <laughs> yeah. around the internet with your name and likeness, yep. and a tweet taken completely wildly out of context i mean and how uh, i'm just gonna step away from the mic and i'm gonna give you a couple seconds to take the floor and you give the p 
piece, <clears throat> and I mean, wherever you want to take this, okay, I'm I'm down to ride. I, yep. that's, I mean, I see all those baseball bats behind you. <laughs> I got one wrapped in barbed wire somewhere around here, and uh, we can go to town. I don't even care. All right. Well, that speaking of baseball bats, I'd like to take every one of those single mugs and have you toss a little underhanded BP to me so I can smash them into a thousand bazillion pieces because I mean, how first off, I should get every single cent that's made off of those because it's my like you said, it's my likeness. And would anybody buy if it even wasn't me? I mean, (laughs) let's be real here. Um, And then second. On the back side, they should have at least included the uh, quote tweet so that it wasn't a hundred percent incorrect. Like, I, what do you what are you gonna do here? Just, I mean, put slandering lies right on your coffee mug and uh, and just sell them to the public because not only one is it such an unbelievable, disgusting, unfathomable. It's, so far from the truth <laughs> statement that um i can't even believe that people are actually thinking that i would ever say that but i don't know what else i want to say so just everyone stop buying the mugs unless you want to send me the money and then i'll make my own mug and sell it to you thank you um, i was for that any uh no you did beautiful oh, all right thank you is there anyone in particular you would like to go after first in our lawsuit? <laughs> um, well, yes. I'm going to not only have all controlling rights of the Mansplain Baseball Elsewhere podcast, but I will also take control, full control of Ashland's beachfront. Um, I, she can keep the house because she has a family, but I will have sole custody. Is that a po- custody? Is that what you Just call property? Go. Don't don't ask questions. Keep Sole going. ownership of her beach uh, and lake right property, which also includes a boat, I hope, and a nice dock that I could fish off of. So mm-hmm. just so you know, those are what I'm coming for. I don't want anything else but your podcast name naming rights and and your beach front property. And here's the thing: if they don't have a boat, we can get that into the lawsuit filed. I'll right. make sure. I will they got to buy a boat. boat. And they have to. Exactly. It to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. You take all that that slanderous mug money. Yes. And you should get a nice chartered yacht out of that thing. I'm, I'm almost okay. I've, I've I'm seen at least a, five people with that coffee mug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a speedboat, fast boat kind of guy. Give me something that moves about 20 miles an hour. Is that uh, a John boat? What kind uh, of boat is that called? Canoe? Uh, not, not a canoe. Raft? Uh, fucking. Uh, what are they called? Um, <laughs> pontoon. Uh, just give me a pontoon boat <laughs> with, that I could put like 15 people on. An and, AstroTurf? <laughs> and celebrate the Dodgers 2020 World Series championship. Oh, a party barge. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude. I'm kinda, I, mean, I can't just, wait to go to Jesse's Beach. Yeah. It's going to be lit. Everyone's invited, except if you're a Braves fan, you are not invited. Um, well, you or, can stand off the sand. If you want to come, you have to stay on the grass. You're not allowed on my beach. Oh, yeah, exactly. We'll we'll do what Walmart's doing. We'll do the little tape six feet past um, <laughs> off the shore there. Yep. And then, That's but also, it's not just the Braves people, remember? Because I've seen uh, some Yankees fans. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Two Yankees fans. Okay, so it's really just going to be me and Joe on the beach, and no one else is allowed. Okay, so Let's go. Uh, you guys, I can't think of any reasons why it should be anybody more than me and Joe. So mm, maybe better luck next time. Here's the thing, though. I'm keeping my shirt on because I'm not doing enough push-ups. <laughs> I mean, so. I feel you. We'll both be the guys with, that get out of the lake after we dive off. And, you know, you don't want to look like a fatso with your shirt off. But then when you get out of the water, you look even fatter because your shirt sucks to you and shows up all of your every inch of your fatness. So Yeah, and, and, and then, like, um, your belly button looks like a cave. Yeah, like you where the shirts just sucked into that thing. Belly button. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's so big. Not a good look for us, but uh, I feel better, man. I think we were onto something because we're going to put a stop to this. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you there will be no more mugs because we cease and desist. This is, yeah. a, um, what do they say? How if you say it out loud, it's law. What is that? <laughs> Possessions, nine tenths of the law. We're taking possession of all your mugs yep. and a verbal contract is binding. Mm-hmm. So guess what? If you're listening to this podcast and sued. you have that mug, Hand it over because we're going to do soft toss off our new party boat right into Lake uh, Ashland or whatever it's called. <laughs> and um, 
you guys will have no recourse because all appeals will come through me and I will de- decline them right off the top. <laughs> like I'll just deny it. Yeah. And if you bought a mug, you are now an offspring of that original lawsuit. So I'm going to start taking, um, uh, kind of like a look at your assets as well and see exactly. what I can take from you. I won't take everything because I'm not that kind of guy. I love you right. guys, but I will take your most important possessions and claim them as my own in this lawsuit. So <laughs> there's that. Dude, I, can't, I can't wait to be rich and living on a lake boat. <laughs> It'd be so fun. <laughs> and you know oh, what? Um, uh, I don't know. Cause you said you're interested in fishing. Yeah. Um, I know that for a fact, I'm pretty sure Ashlyn said that her HOA she pays money and they just like restock the fish, which sounds like an HOA move. Like, yeah. are you cool with, Hey, here's your regular mortgage. And now you pay us another fish, hundred fish tax. Yeah. Here's another hundred dollars that you're gonna have to give me. And I'm going to put like a couple goldfish swimming around in there. <laughs> and then you can't do anything to your property that you want because yeah. we're an HOA Nazi organization. Um, so I don't know if you've ever lived in a, in an HOA neighborhood. I lived in one briefly for a year. And it was the most miserable I've ever been. You can't like, so we got, I got suckered. Okay. I'm not a smart guy. I'm not a, a I don't have the business men acumen. Handsome and smart. I mean, it, it's, you can only get blessed with so much, bro. Right. I mean, you, you and know? I got neither. So I was screwed <laughs> looking at the houses, but our little, uh, what they're called the agent, the freaking sale. What the heck are they called? The realtor. There we go. Nailed yeah. it, dude. We are firing on you know why cylinder. I, you know right. what I remember realtor. Cause like, um, there's a, there's a series on Pornhub That's all about like realtors. Like, Oh, let me show you this house. And it's like, Oh, do you really want to buy it? <laughs> you know where it goes. Yeah. The, the porn we would have been on Pornhub would have been BBW. I think. No, no, no. We just froze. BW? We just froze up there. No. I didn't see you. We froze up. What do you say? Still frozen? Do I got to kick my kids off the internet? Because I thought I already it did that. Poor connection. <laughs> it says poor connection. A bitch. <laughs> Hang on. Just keep, just keep rolling. No, just I keep can't. rolling. I was, trying to, I was trying to explain that my realtor was a, a larger gal, so it would have been one of the, the BW, big, beautiful women. <laughs> oh, Is that BBW? B-B-Dubs? Yeah, BBW. All right. So um, continue your story. <sighs> Let me get off this Wi-Fi on my phone. That's cool. <laughs> Speaking of, I think HOAs and Xfinity are, are both just a complete racket. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, they really upsold the whole, oh, if you live in an HOA, then it makes your house really easy to resell and the property values and you don't have neighbors that are like have 35 broke down cars. Huh? Well, what's the reasoning behind that? Like, why is your house easier to sell? Because people are like, oh, somebody else is controlling everything that can happen and nothing bad can be done? Well, because, like, I can't I can't go wild. Theoretically, I can't, like, paint my house hot pink. And yeah, and have, like, your grass like, is like an value. Amazon jungle. Exactly. Okay, continue. But they got so ridiculous. Like, our shut... They, we got to think, like, they, our HOA sent these two goons around in an old oh. Chevy Caprice all rusted oh. out, taking pictures of houses. Doing checklists? Yeah, man. We got a little note, that, a little warning that said, your shutters are dingy. You have 30 days to correct this. If you don't correct it in 30 days, you'll receive another warning. And if like another 30 days after that, you'll receive a fine. And then after that, um, a lien is put on your house. And I don't know what a lien <laughs> Over is. some shutters? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this house. I mean, I didn't pay for two hundred fifty. The bank freaking loaned me that hoe, but <clears throat> really, I'm I'm giving you hoes all this money every month, and I, I did like some paints chipping off the. I can't. It's a hundred feet up in the sky. I can't reach them. <laughs> but anyways, I got up there on a ladder, and then dented my gutter because I I was kind of oh, mad. The ladder. Yeah. yeah, and you think I painted them? No, I just took them off. Clean. Oh, clean them up. Oh, you oh, just I removed just them? Took them off. Yeah, I'm like, I don't have any shutters anymore. I don't like them apples. So yeah, I freaking hate HOAs. They suck. Um, they don't do anything to help you. And I just, I hope they all burn in hell. Yeah. Well, if there's any HOA people listening to this podcast, <laughs> unsubscribe right now. Go play in traffic. <laughs> so I do. Should I, I do. walk that back? I'm not gonna. No. 
No, yeah, you're I'm good. Gonna, I don't yeah. care about. I don't know anybody that works for an HOA, and if I do, then they know they're an asshole anyway. But they probably are just being told to be assholes, and they're like, "Well, I get it. We're assholes, but you know, whatever. It's it's what we're getting paid to do." So they know they're dickheads. Yeah. Um, so I have to. You had a couple questions. Have I ever had any experience with HOA? I've never lived in an area uh, like m- my neighborhood or whatever you know now that doesn't have that. But uh, I used to when I was like seventeen, eighteen, like during summer. Uh, I painted houses exterior in a place that had HOA and that the only, they were only allowed to paint their houses like nature color. So like every house was like Brown or tan or like a dark green. And it was just like, come on, bro. Like I just felt like I was driving for 10,000 miles when I would drive through it because it would look like every house was just exactly the fucking same. Um, it was, I hated it. And, uh, and then on the fish tax, that is absurd. If if I'm if I'm paying a fish tax, I better catch a fish every time I put. You better guarantee me that every time my fucking lure hits the lake water, that I'm gonna be reeling in a fish to fulfill my excitement over that money I spent. Because that that is some bullshit. You pay to have that fucking lake stock, you motherfuckers. You're probably getting a ton of money off of all these houses being built in this HOA land. I don't even know how that works, but that's what I assume. Yeah. And then um, as far as those goons going around checking, I wish I, that if what I would really love for you have done is to Lou Brown their asses and take that <laughs> shit down to the HOA office piss and unzip it. your dick and just piss all over it right in their office and just walk out and tell them that's what you think of their shutter fucking clean up fucking operation. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I respect you taking them off and just telling them fuck you that way. That's just as good. Yeah. And it doesn't get arrested. Yeah, and I'm not even going to tell the part where it makes me look like a bitch when we spray painted them and then put them back up there so we can sell them. Out. So, <laughs> yeah, suck on that. But yeah, back to the fish thing. You better have the wet bandits down there in a the scuba mask, scuba yeah. gear, like catching big old catfish, putting it right on my freaking hook, yep. and then making sure I get the big one. You know what I mean? Every time, bro. Oh, every yeah. single time, or else I want. If every time I go fishing, I want five dollars of my money back if I don't catch the fish. And, and then if you have to start paying me, then well, that's what you get for being cheap, Gustavo. I don't even know what Gustavo oh, means. That's good. That. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I th- I thought it fit there right there, but I wasn't sure. I should have just kept going. <laughs> um, yeah. So five dollars back until. I either get even or, well, you know what? You're going to have to start paying me if I don't catch after that. So I'm, I'm with you, man. Fuck, fuck HOAs. Fuck them. Yep. All right. So let's, let's uh, calm down. Okay. Let's go to a, let's get <laughs> a little up. more. Yeah. You're fired up and let's yeah. get a more positive story into our lives at this moment. Did you watch the Alex Smith thing on ESPN? No, but I saw, I saw the leg and oh. it was. Dude, nah, you, but, sh- you should have seen I, the leg after they had to clean it up. Yeah. It was like, it's like when you're eating ribs and you eat it down to the bone. That's what it looked like. Shut up. Like, how did his leg grow back? Dude, I don't know. I had to go. Okay. I can't tell you what I had to go do yet because it's Because I want to watch it. My buddy texted me literally like an hour ago. He's like, dude, I'm watching this fucking uh, E60 shit. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I saw the picture. It no, looks there's intense. way more to that. There's yeah. way more to it. I'm going to check it out because I, I, I know Alex Smith always got a lot of hate and he was kind of a turd. As a quarterback, but I always liked him. I don't know why. It's for no, I mean he 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 played hard. It just yeah. he was checking down all the time it pissed me off. Like throw the ball deep one time. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he definitely sucked. But I don't know. There's just something. About oh, him. I mean, suck is a hard harsh right. term. But I mean, you know, he was he was lighting it up before old Kaepernick came in there and stole his job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are you doing? Are you reaching for all that stuff to show me how big your arms are? Because I see you doing <laughs> no, push ups. There the was uh, there oh, was doing two it latches that weren't latched, and it was driving my OCD crazy. I don't even know what you're talking about. I just know them guns got to be licensed or Dude, else you will be in jail. I was taking a shower today, and when I was washing my arms, they're shr- they're shrinking. <gasps> oh, boy. Did you do a push-ups immediately? Like, you know, because my arm still hurts, bro. I think, remember did when I did those push-ups where I, I did the clap? Did no, I didn't see that. Oh, uh, yeah. I did, a, like, probably 10 with the clap in them between them. Probably like three uh, weeks ago, dude, and I think I injured yourself. myself, bro. Oh my my God. like right back here has been like when I go out, I think I tore like a labrum. My late is that yeah. something here? No, it sounds probably legit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm <sighs> I'm on the D I L D L whatever the fuck you want to call it right now. And like even if the gym opened back up, I don't even know if I'd be able to do anything because it hurts so bad. Like I try to do push ups, I almost yeah. fall down, but I won't go to the doctor because who does that? 
No, I don't know. I'm just picturing you being fat like me now. This is not <laughs> good. Well, I'm still going on very long walks. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been enjoying that, by the way. I've been hitting like five, six mile walks oh, damn. down this nice bike trail that's purchased by the um, local railroad to preserve um, travel. Mm-hmm. That, I don't know, but uh, yeah. it, it's kind of nice. See I had it. that where I used to live, the old railroad trail. They just turned into a, a, bike path. a trail. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I give everybody a little wave when I'm out, try to drum up some happiness in everyone else's life because i have none in mine but here's the thing you got to watch out on that trail those bicyclists dude especially the ones that wear like banana colored oh. tight spandex yeah. and they're so, into it like you can tell yeah. they've got multiple water bottles at the ready Most they, got killed. yep see that's what i mean <laughs> attempted manslaughter all the time and they don't yeah. care nope. those guys are the original gangsters yeah. at least let me know you're coming bro I can't hear you because yeah. your bike is like you spent like two thousand dollars on your bike and it's like a silent killing machine and it's you're going missile. yeah you're going seventy five miles an hour <laughs> and you are like aerodynamic so like I can't even hear the wind nothing no. I, this all I hear is whoosh, it's just like a bullet like, going by yeah like go yeah. by you and like give me an on the left or something man <laughs> let me know you're <laughs> Let me know you're fucking coming, dog. Like fucking Lance Armstrong before we both end up paraplegics because you crush me in my spine and then go flying 40 feet. You know what I'm saying? They're absolute savages, man. Yeah, bicyclists. Bicyclists. Get out. You, if you're a bicyclist, too, if you're a hardcore one, like you wear spandex, get unsubscribe as well. <laughs> Who's an average? There's going to be nobody left listening to this show. We are burning this whole thing down. I love it. We're not going to have any fucking subscribers left anymore, but whatever. HOA and super hardcore bikers. Now, if you got a beach cruiser and you just go ride down at like five miles an hour, you're good with me because I can hear you. your clunkety ass coming from a mile away. (laughs) (laughs) But if you're you're riding 4,000 miles an hour trying to set a world record on a bike path where we were just trying to have some fun and have and get some exercise fuck you how do you look i mean okay i'm trying to picture these guys like how their day starts like prior to deciding they're going on this bike trail and like setting new land speed records yeah. they have to look at themselves in the mirror wearing spandex from mid thigh <laughs> all the way to the shoulders yeah like how do you take yourself seriously at that point Putting it, even putting it on, just putting, not even looking at yourself, yeah. putting that gear on, like to slip Vaseline. that Vaseline, you have to, you, you gotta, have to put Vaseline on or butter. You got to contort your arms so many different ways to just get that shirt Easy. on. Easy, you're going to hurt yourself again. <laughs> yeah, you're right, my shoulder. Um, and then those are the type of guys who just sleep like a vampire, like this. <laughs> Like straight as an arrow all night long and never move. Don't move, barely breathe. Yeah. No, pulls yeah. down. Yeah, pulls down to like three. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm right. You know oh, yeah. they, they just pop up out of bed and just right into the spandex and out onto the bike trail or the path to fucking try and murder some people with their speeding bullet. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't I thought even we were have gonna that get. The, I, I thought you said we were gonna go from mad to sad or happy right there. It didn't work out. Oh, don't whatever. ever listen to me. Yeah, I don't tell the truth. Uh-huh. How about um, the California beaches? I saw a tweet from your boy Frankie's too loud, and he was catching some heat from the California peeps. And I saw that you yourself put down the old map quest directions <laughs> there. I mean, and, uh, I mean, I, I thought that was a good touch. So yeah, you are the California resident. I've only uh, traveled through California a handful of times. So please explain where this picture was taken in relation to Los Angeles itself. Yeah, it's it's many miles. Frank, while I can understand that, like, if you haven't really frequented California, you have this, like, weird view of, like, it's just Los <laughs> Angeles and San Francisco, like just mashed, yeah, into one big state, like, or and then San Diego's down here somewhere on the tip, like Mexico. doing something <laughs> on the tip. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, there is a lot of real estate in in this fucking beautiful sunshine state. Is that California? Or is that that's Florida? Huh? Wait, what's uh, my sunshine? I don't know. Whatever. California. Wait, let's large. work this out. California is the ocean state. What? What is California? <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, it is a sunshine state. Because Florida's, 
Florida is like the, the weirdo pit. state. Yeah. Yeah, the garbage pit. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about them later, maybe. <laughs> def- but, but anyway, keep going. Yeah, but so <laughs> there is very spread. Like, if the one thing that, like, when I moved to California many, 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 many years ago, like, I had to realize was it like, if you say, like, if you're if you look at a map and like something's like five miles away, it's not like where you live, like five miles takes what? Four minutes. <laughs> like here, five miles is like, you might as well leave <laughs> 35 to 45 minutes before you need to get there. So oh, yeah. <clears throat> because it's just insane and it's whatever, it's a terrible, that's one of the not great aspects of California is everything's so far apart. But um, yeah, Huntington Beach is a little bit of a, it, even it's 50 miles, or I think it was 55 miles from Dodger Stadium to Huntington Beach, Wait, and there's such a difference in people and human beings. Go I ahead. Know. Sorry. So we, I did a terrible job explaining. There's a picture of that Huntington Beach. Yeah. Tons of people on it. Thousands. And thousands of people on this beach in the midst of what's supposed to be a quarantine, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. And, and protesting as well. Oh, okay. And protest. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. And yeah. So Frankie was calling it uh, Los Angeles in the tweet. He said, "Look at how crazy people are in Los Angeles, or some shit is." And it's just like you have to understand. You have to understand that it's there's so many different like that. The people in Los Angeles are not the people in Huntington Beach. But yeah, I actually thought in my head, and I'm going to say it on the podcast because I can't get canceled here. But like the footage of the the footage of the the um uh, the protest today it looked like drone strike footage and I was almost hoping that at one point a missile was going to come down, come down and just be like, and just wipe out all those people that just like what why are you out there protesting what is the reasoning behind who are you like why can't you just stay at home for a little bit longer it's like hell no we won't go we need the hey. beach sand in our shoes right today like hey. what, what you know what a you know what would have been a gangster move by Governor Schwarzenegger if he would have just roped off the or like chain linked the beaches shut like everybody was on the beach yeah. just got all like the armored vehicles and just closed them in so they had to stay there until Forever. coronavirus was gone yeah, yeah that's and great. they can they have two options they can sit there on the beach and poop in the sand or they can go out in the ocean and take their chances swimming to Hawaii or whatever yeah, swim to a different spot to get out yep <laughs> that's great I like that you just see a bunch of people digging like fucking trenches to try and survive in the wind <laughs> and, and, you, you and you know it's, it, it's guaranteed you know maximum of four days before they start eating each other yeah I've seen the movies like that when they're in the wilderness Hell yeah! It, I mean, they run out of the um. There ain't no water the, either. So they figure it out, bro. Yeah, and then they gotta start eating each other. Yep. Yeah, real cool. At least you'll get those sun rays that you were looking for, and your tan <laughs> to get back to normal. You fucking jerks! Like, even if you don't believe in Corona, just believe in it enough so that ever we can just do other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, why try to break? the rules right now because look what happened didn't they just extend it basically after he saw all the people out there like yo jerk offs uh, this is what you get now you got to stay inside even longer and oh here we go have another 65 protests that do no good like at no point is anybody going to be like oh did you see all those guys down on the fucking beach with their signs up that said hang 10 we missed the beach like fucking we better open up everything because they want to go out and catch some fucking tubular turf or waves i don't even know what i'm trying to say Hang to but, shaka bra. yeah but uh yeah fuck fuck protesters i mean the shit to protest i guess but fuck the people who are protesting that you can't go to the beach just wait a fucking little bit longer man yeah anyway. do you want to hear something are you, are you good yeah i'm good do you want to frank wait you realized your mistake after the fact but it's like calling New York City sta- or Long Island. It's just there's two different even people that live there, man. And it's only even if it's only a 50 minute drive. Well, with Corona, it'd probably take you four hours without Corona. But anyway, sorry, I wasn't done. Yeah, no. Now Are you I'm done, done now? OK, so that was a terrific rant you went on and you were just excoriating those people. I think that's a word. And um, but here's the thing. Tonight, I broke the law. You went to the beach? No, we don't have any beaches here. I mean, I know that. We do, but they're they're on a river, and it's not really a beach. It's like Ashland's Beach version. That I own now. So my neighbor across the street wanted to have a social distance neighborhood gathering. Oh, jeez. And I didn't really want to go. She's super cool. She's super cool, but I didn't want to go. But we went, 
and I so I, I did I, Bam Bam or just you? And no, just me and me and Leah. Yeah, me and Leah went over there, and I didn't know how many people were going to be there, and I thought we were just going to be standing around like you know six feet apart minimum. Yeah, as per law. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing: there was oh, like no. they were all old people, and when we walked back there, they all shook my hand. Oh my god! And you've been all across the country I've the been, last like fucking two months, bro. And it's not a secret because my freaking semi truck is parked right <laughs> out. <laughs> and that's what I'm worried about because I'm a handshake guy, bro. Like you know how hard it could... is right now to handshake people that like I know or that or like I'm like I just my body just tries to handshake and I'm like you know because what are we ever gonna handshake again? I, I hope not. Handshaking is kind of whack. But listen, these old people over here did not give a damn. That's what I'm saying. Like, this guy's like a hundred years old. Comes up, shakes my. Hi, right, my name's Ralph, or whatever he said. Dude, I can remember. Dude, let's talk about how terrible I am. His name used to be Ralph because he's gonna be dead in a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, and he will. But that's fine. But listen, <laughs> he um, I'm looking and pointing over there like anybody can even <laughs> see what I'm doing here. But when people, so I don't know about you, but when I go into a setting and there's lots of people that I don't know, yeah, and then they all start like. AK 47 ing names at me. Mm-hmm. I remember none of them. You don't know way. It's it's not like I, I take one or two. I'm like, okay, that's him. I'll figure out the right. I my brain is like it's overload, shut down, like mm-hmm. put up all defenses, man battle stations, deflect all information coming your way. Get it the hell out of here. Yep. And so then I gotta play the game of either wait for somebody else to address them, yeah, or be like, Hey man, um, what was your name again? Like I'm I got uh, um you know cte and everything on account of my sister dropped me on my head when i was a baby so but anyways and then there was like food and everything there and i'm like we're not supposed to be doing this man i didn't have any because i had to come home and i'll tell you tell you about what i did at home after that but we were we hadn't eaten yet and i didn't want like a bunch of bread and spinach dip that i was definitely going to contaminate because i know i've got this disease all over me (laughs) and um, i'm saying uh, Listen, no I, offense, I could have been, but you've been you've been frequenting some pre- very very unsanitary places probably in the last month. But let's, let's just be for real. For the Flying Jays, they aren't exactly the most cleanly places for 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 the uh, for the coronavirus to be not present. And, so, and we better not have any narcs listening to. If any of you try to turn me in, I will deny everything. I'll burn this tape, and I will come after you. And that's not a threat. <laughs> so don't try to get me for that either. Oh. I'm a lawyer. I don't know. We already established this earlier yeah. after we go after those dogs. Yeah. yeah, I will plead I will plead ignorance and assault you with words in court. I think all you, to be a lawyer, all you have to do is say, I'm a lawyer. Like, Yeah, and then just charge a, a shitload of money to your client. Like, yeah. My yeah. hourly rate is $469. Yep. So. If the mug don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> that mug is trash, man. I can't <laughs> believe people are just drinking out of that, man. Yeah. That is, I hope that coffee tastes like butthole. <laughs> and lies. All right. So here's, so here's wait a minute. I, what did yeah. you do when you got home? Okay. So here's I mean, the thing. Dinner. Because I know you were probably staring at that food, wishing that you could have some. Right. Because I'm fat. I get it. And no, so I. It's good. Listen, and so um, Leah had asked me, hey, what do you want to eat when you come home? And I was like, I want steak and asparagus wrapped in bacon. Okay. That. My mouth just started watering again. Here's the thing. I'm not really. I know how to put the steak on the on the grill. Yeah. I'm not good at figuring out when it's pink enough. Yeah, me in neither. Time. Like, I'm I'm usually I don't cook it long enough. Yeah. So what I did was, um, I went to Twitter in the DMs. Yeah. And and our good friend R R Fo Show. Uh huh. Um, I DM'd him and I was like. Hey, Haas, uh, I understand that you are Texas and I need some advice. I got these steaks. I took a picture. I sent it to him and I was like, what do I do? You know, like, I don't want to screw this up. Pre-cooking? Yeah, they're just, I just took a picture of them. Yeah. And then he immediately responded and said, I just want to acknowledge right now that the first time you slide into my DMs, it's to um, brag about your meat or something like that. (laughs) Expose your meat or something. So I thought that was hilarious. And I, I did the little laugh emoji next to his comment right there yeah okay. and so he gave me some advice and he's like i like a hot coals you put it on one side for like two or three minutes and then flip it and then take it off or whatever he gave me some instructions anyway dude i don't know if i did the hey series set my timer oh no don't do it now no 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 not now not now hang on easy girl easy okay and so i did hey siri 
timer for two minutes. Yeah. And and I don't know if she knows how to tell time any better than I do. Maybe her time was wrong, but yeah. I overdid it. And here's the thing. My family uh, is terrific yeah. liars. And oh, they're like, man. it tastes great. And I was like, it, it tastes like a Michelin. <laughs> oh, no. I, I need a bandsaw to cut through mine. It wasn't oh, that no. bad. But then the bacon, the bacon wrapped asparagus, as soon as I... And here's the other thing. My, my knuckles uh-huh. um, you got are singed. Wound right there. Oh, that's from work. Yeah, that's because I'm a real man. Yeah. Uh, it's probably it's probably infected too, but it's yeah, fine. it looks a little infected. Yeah, it's okay though. Um, and so the bacon wrapped asparagus, the bacon fell off immediately onto oh. the grill as as a, so it was just like bacon next to asparagus. asparagus. <laughs> oh, that was still man. good. Like I still ate that. Oh. Yeah, I mean you can still trick yourself into doing a little cut of the asparagus I, and get a piece of bacon, but yeah, I just hate how bad I am at cooking st- or grilling steaks. Like yeah, people in Texas, I see all these Texas guys, and they're just like, oh. Here's how I my delicious, perfectly, you know, uh, medium rare, rare medium, whatever the hell they say, steak. And I'm over here looking at this bullshit that I'm about to <laughs> eat. I probably break some more teeth on. Well, first things first. I think they're taught in like third grade how to like grill a steak. So let's not beat ourselves up too much yeah. about that because we didn't have that class when we were in elementary school. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, and then second, I'm with you, and like maybe we get made fun of for admitting this, but I'm terrible at grilling as well. Um, like I'm either I either come up way short or I'm fucking I'm breaking it on the back of the rim. So uh, <laughs> I feel you, and I hate that as well. And I know everybody's like buy a meat thermometer and all this, and like I I'm not even that much of a like I, I loved grilled steak. I love steak off a of grill, but I just. The process is like, I don't know. It's just, I know it's all man, then that grill it up, oh, I'll beat your chest, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's just not me. Like, I'm I'm not proud to admit, but my ex, she, she grills the fuck out of a steak. And um, I would, I'll, I'll sit right on the couch and wait for that <laughs> steak to be done. I have no shame in that. Like, yeah. um, you know, so I'm with you. Fuck grilling steaks. It's got to be so goddamn impossible. And like, once you pull it off, like, there's it's, no going back. Yeah, it's just you're you're done with. But um, yeah, I, I feel you. And then when you get when you cut into it, and it's just like got that little brownish, like gray, grayish. Yeah, it's gray. It's, it's done. There's no you're, pink to be seen yeah, anywhere. You just, yeah. you just want to fucking Gronk spike it right off the floor. <laughs> but you would break um, your floor, so it, it wouldn't <laughs> be counterproductive. I can I just am picturing your family like. <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah. It's great, Dad. <laughs> yeah, gave some to Bubba, and he just like went and he ate cat shit to get that taste out of his mouth. Uh, I was upset. Man. Oh, speaking of cooking, though, um, I'm gonna make your video of how to do pancakes. So you're gonna yeah. make yourself some buttermilk pancakes, and you're yeah. gonna make enough to put in the freezer and feed you for like the next three weeks because you my are batch makes a fat. lot. Yeah, but you said you like buttermilk pancakes. I love but any you know, not, style of pancake. Not out of the bag. After you make these that I'm yeah. going to show you, out of the you'll never go back to the pre mix. Right, well, I need like exact like one yeah, quarter I'm, cup of this. That's how I do it. I'm, I'm not. Okay, Mark, start the off the video think... with like a brief panning over of all the ingredients. Yeah, I, dude, I got you. Okay. okay? Trust right. me. I mean, I know you're a vlogger, so I I, I trust you. But I just am saying what I oh. prefer in the video. Speaking of vlogging, vlogging, um, I don't know if you've seen my video today, but I'm up to five views after 12 <laughs> hours, not to brag. I, I, I haven't. And I don't, even th- I don't even think my mom has watched yet, so that's <laughs> six for sure. You are. Uh, you know what I did do, um, which is the reason why I sent that tweet the other day about you being very popular on very many social platforms, um, <laughs> was I happened to click on your Facebook page, and I scrolled it, and boy, let me just say, Joe's... Uh, supporters are on facebook even more than they are on twitter so if you guys aren't what that's false no that's why i I only play on twitter now is because people just ignore me my own family is just sick of my i saw a very nice post from your mom and i believe maybe it was uh another family member i can't remember what it said uh Uh, it but it it was a post about your your vlog and and watch it and it, that's it's, my mom man that's well, maybe it was your mom that said that one I can't remember but I just am saying that the hype train which is hooked up to Joe's caboose it's on <laughs> it's on Facebook too fam don't get don't get it twisted uh, I don't want to mansplain how trains work but caboose is on the end of a train yeah so that's, 
Oh There'd yeah, nothing on the they, end of the caboose. They're, they're the caboose hooked up to your your uh your what do they call a train? What are they? Just what's like the lead the train? Engine. The yeah, end of, engine. Yeah. What the hell is it called? The do zoom trains trainer? still run on a guy like Fleet and Coal into like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely, like Bugs Bunny and shit like that. Yeah, I've seen it. I want to be that guy. I'm gonna quit my <laughs> Covered in black after guy. three, four thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> you got that that sick uh, hat like that with the no shirt, oh. just overalls and yeah. that hat. Dude is swole because you know he's burning calories because he's yeah. sweating like a mother. Glistening sweat. And his arms at all are time. just rock and solid. I'm just, I'm just a walking sex machine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fuck the. Coal. I just am a little dirty too, you know, just a little coal stain on me, and my nipples are glistening from the sweat. Yeah, fuck but, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I bet you he's. You're probably going to be impotent because of the carcinogens you're inhaling. Definitely ruining your virality. Do virality or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Cold that's fine. You're not great for you. <laughs> but I mean, at least I'll be cool for a couple of years. Yeah. And you know what else is cool is when I got randomly invited to a, a Brave Zoom last night that I understand Missed you it. were on before me. Yeah. I had to go early. I yeah. left like an hour in. That was a good time. It was like, how come you didn't jump on earlier? Because when our boy Chop on Corey, yeah. when he sent me that DM, I was too busy in a maintenance bay in Missoula, Montana, uh, getting told for the third time that they couldn't fix a hub oil leak in my trailer tire or wheel. Oh. So I was, you know, kind of getting the run around there. And by the time I saw it, you were gone. But they were still going pretty strong. I heard. I so that was a good time. Shotgun and beers and shit like that. Did yeah, and there's a, there's a cowboy in Wyoming. And they don't like to say the G on Wyoming. Like Braves fans, they just they refuse it. They're just yeah. like Wyoming. No, I, it's what are you going to do? I mean, hillbillies, have they just they create their own language as well. So do they like being, is it a redneck or is it a hillbilly? Or are both of those terms offensive? Uh, ne- neither. Because uh, <laughs> I don't, I think. I mean, I lived in Kentucky, so I figured like I was in the culture long enough that I can, yeah, you know, like I can say it. Yeah, I get, I get the pass. Yeah, I agree. So, um, I think a redneck is more like um, cattle and farming, and a hillbilly is like backwoods. Yeah, like a shack making in in the woods of like West Virginia with the moonshine. Yeah, like, that's probably a hillbilly. Yeah, I I agree with that take. I bet a hillbilly, like who who has more snot rags and bandanas hanging out of the back of their overalls? <laughs> hillbilly? hillbilly? Yeah. yeah. Hillbilly's hillbilly. redneck's got like tight jeans and no shirts on, and like a wife beater or no shirt on. Exactly. Um, Always and, sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> hillbilly has like the overalls and definitely some fucking bandanas sticking out of every pocket with snot on all of them, like blowing their <laughs> nose hardcore on, never washing that rag. Like, how could. <laughs> Could you dude. imagine, like, the dudes back in the day, like, how could, what, people were just carrying around snot rags, like, just blowing their nose in a rag all day long and putting it back in their pocket. Like, who was like, this is a good idea, let's start doing this. That's why these old people don't give a damn about no virus, man, because right. they, they grew up, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to use a snot rag, blow all my germs and all this other disease all over it, put it in my pocket, and two seconds later, and pull it back out and wipe my face with it. Like, <laughs> yeah. damn. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're smart. Maybe that's like a double negative. Cancels out all the germs. I'm not <laughs> yeah. a science guy, but. It, maybe it makes you tougher, I guess. Yeah, if you're just like wiping your face with fucking your own your own snot rockets. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have, what what were you guys talking about? Because when, when I was there, the dude from House of Cards, Michael Kelly, was on, bro. You missed that. I don't know. I don't know what house. Like, I I uh, saw I saw some tweets about it, but and I clicked yeah. on his thing. He didn't look familiar, so yeah, yeah I would have been the like idiot that was like star, but like he's been on a few TV programs. He's good. He's a good actor. Um, but uh, what what were you? Because I feel like it got a little spice here once he logged off, and everybody yeah. was like, start like when you got out. Because like, I left not too long after him. I had some shit that I needed to do. So, um, sex. <laughs> what? Who? You? Did you have Me? sex? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't have oh, sex. I thought that was a code word. No, no, I, I, I mean, no, no sex. Uh, no, we, uh, we didn't really talk about it too much. We didn't get too rowdy. There's, you know, people were drinking, and um, they asked a lot of questions about my truck, and I tried to answer as best I could. Yeah. And then Braves Emily went ahead and like just 
it t- she took the video off and then put the picture on because she had to poop or whatever, but she was still talking. So <laughs> no, that was a pretty wild move. I don't know if she's pooping, but uh, we can get that rumor going. Was they're it, they're was gonna it get actually? mugs where they're taking you out of context. I'm gonna take them out of context. <laughs> Guess what? Blow for blow. We we they want a war. We're gonna give them a war. <laughs> I don't know why I brought Emily into this. I don't know if she had anything to do with that coffee mug slander. But uh, well, I assume she supports it because it's yeah. against you. And There's so... coffee being made to the Mansplain Baseball Elsewhere podcast with every purchase of that mug. When I'm sure Ashlyn's not keeping all of it. So they're all in it. You lay with dogs, you get fleas or whatever they say. No, I didn't. That's, a, that sounds terrible. That's, I'm sorry. No, dude. that's a good. That's a good one. Okay. No, Believe we're burning it down. We're not sorry, okay? Right. We, this is a war. And first we're going after... Ma- Shut your mouth. You don't <laughs> apologize, man. You... Apo- you uh, no, you didn't apologize. You're right. What? I don't know. I didn't, and I'm not making fun of Ashlyn's... Um, I almost said the A word. I'm mm-hmm. not making fun of her draw because I think it's fine. And for some reason, she always thinks that I'm like shitting on it. And well, I'm last not, episode, like, you went in a little bit on it. The last episode, I don't ever want to talk about that again. I, that was the worst I've ever been. I don't know what my deal was. My brain was on backwards or something. It was a long day. I don't want to, I'm not a guy that makes excuses, but I've been driving for a long ass time and I just couldn't think of shit because yeah. I don't even do drugs, man. Like, this is all natural, stupid. There's more wear and tear on the brain than with driving than I put on it with my bong reps. But uh, <laughs> let, let me just say if there's anybody out there who's an expert in brains, um, if one of, if either Joe or I passes away before the other one, which will possibly happen, I don't think we're going to die in the same time and date. Um, is it possible for his brain to be included in my brain to make us a full brain, <laughs> have a full brain, a full functioning brain and be maybe smarter, like take his left side and include it with my right side. Is that a possibility? Cause there's brain surgery, right? I don't know if they take parts out. But yeah. I'm going to pretend like when one of us dies, the other one, I'm writing in my will that you can have whatever piece, pieces of my brain that you like. Okay, but you can have my brain too. But now I got to put one of those disclaimers on the contract that says when you get the half of my brain that's got like all the different voices in the head, yeah. be be ready because they just pop up out of nowhere. And for, for no <laughs> reason, you'll be like, oh, that's a random thought that I didn't want to think about ever. And then it'll just be there and you'll have no choice but to um, exploit it. All right, well, I can't wait for that, and I can't wait to be addicted to jalapeno kettle chips. Have you had any? Yeah, I love jalapeno chips. I actually had some today for lunch. Kettle cooked. Have you oh, had yeah, kettle? that's all I do now. I don't go anything other than kettle cooked chips now. I yeah. like to pretend that they're healthier, but I'm sure they're not by no, any means. They're, they're definitely more dangerous, and there's no way it's good for your digestive system. It's like yeah, shards yeah. of like yeah. um, petrified wood going down your old internal yeah. esophagus and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's an I'm external t- esophagus? I doubt. Yeah, it. probably somewhere. Yeah, we nailed it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I've had some today. I had a little turkey sandwich with some jalapeno chips. It was very tasty, but they were spicy. They but they bit back a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I, I see. Whoever was at the jalapeno chip place with the factory and all that. Yeah. I got a bag that I'm pretty sure the dude it was his last day and he was just trying to ex- he, was, he was trying to expedite the process and he was down to his last bag of like chili powder or whatever and he just dumped the whole thing in my bag and then dipped and then I got that and then I felt the heat in and out after that bag. <laughs> That's tough. Why do you think that like who when they first invented chip so we were like yo let's give them such a huge bag with such a small amount. I know this is like a long time thing like i'm not breaking the news here telling everybody that you get a lot less chips than it looks like in a bag but is there reasoning behind that like why i mean i know it's because they want to sit but like why not just give me a couple more chips like chips i just saw them throw away like ten thousand bazillion potatoes somewhere in Idaho or something like that. Did you see that? Happen to see that on Twitter? No. Yeah, because of Corona. I'm right here. I would have taken all of them. <laughs> Not enough people are going out and eating French fries and shit, so oh. they're having to throw away potatoes, bro. Dude, I heard you about that in Belgium. In Belgium, they have they're having an overage of potatoes, and they're encouraging people to eat French fries at least like three times a week or something. I mean, uh, okay, so now I got a question because arm. do you yeah. <laughs> Do you remember a few months back, and it might have been last summer or something, they were talking about we were going to go through a potato shortage? Yeah. Okay, yeah. somebody now, needs to get their facts straight. Yeah, now we're fucking having potato mountains built because we can't eat them. 
You got to see the picture. I don't know whether it's like a picture of the actual scene or someone would just happen to take, but it's like mounds. It's yeah. like thousands of potatoes, bro. Like, in in like, Idaho. Yeah, my, I think my neighbor. I mean, Idaho is potato state, right? Yeah, we got a lot of potatoes over here. <laughs> I've never seen them, but allegedly they're over here. Okay. How do you Dude, grow a potato? In the dirt. It grows up from the ground, right? No, it stays in the ground. The Always? Little, like, the, the potato does like it yeah. it comes the sh- little yeah. shoots Watch like the yeah. plants the green shit you see that comes up but the potatoes stay down in that dirt son all the braves twitter n- not sure if they're hillbillies or rednecks are gonna laugh at me when i don't know how a potato was ma- created okay growing. but guess what they they want to laugh at you i got ammo to laugh at them because i listened to the old uh what the hell is this thing called chatting average podcast yeah. last uh, week and um do you know are you familiar with cam's work i mean you know yeah. alex and cam yes i am are you familiar Fan. with how cam cooks his eggs uh no i don't think so in a microwave oh yeah i did see i did see that i did see it i was uh, uh why for what reasoning unbelievable i mean he I gave I some comments some that on twitter but i don't remember what exactly i said but why is the it worst excuse ever something about reasoning? a toddler and needing to do it quickly it takes and, like 40 seconds to scramble eggs. Dude, I, why would you? Okay, I got to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, go off, King. Yeah, in a micro, like. It can't be nice and fluffy. Here's the thing. He said that because he's got a toddler or something, he needs to do it for speed and efficiency or something. Put that bitch in one of those things that hangs from the Dude. ceiling where they bounce around for a minute or two and make yourself some nice eggs. Lock that thing in a closet. Shut the door. <laughs> I mean... Leave your window open. Let it crawl outside. Okay, we do not need to bring up the past. I'm Mark McGuire. But my toddlers could all cook eggs themselves. Yeah. So that is like the worst excuse ever. And then what the hell are grits? He's talking about putting them in grits. I mean, I, I think grits are like when you go out um, by the side of the road and the little pebbles, I think. Or is that gravel? One of the two. I don't know. But I, <laughs> I, I'm out on grits. They just sound disgusting. And like, I just imagine like and grit I don't want the word is like, I mean, grit. waved eggs. In grit your grits. is literally like dirt in crevices. Like, yeah, like I mean, sandpaper. Yeah, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just, if you give me, I would rather eat spam with my eggs than eat grits or you know what i love scrapple have you ever had scrapple let's explain it i might have but i don't know if i call it it. scrapple Uh uh-huh what what is it um i don't really know to be perfectly honest with you (laughs) i'd have to go it's like a mixture of like things that let me like you you just put scrambled eggs and you just put everything in it no Um, let me google it real quick so let me while you're doing that let me give you a list of things i would rather cook my eggs in than a microwave um Mm -hmm. a muffler like right on a muffler, the driveway in the sun is another one. <laughs> um, this lamp that I got right here, anything but a microwave. Are you serious, Cam? Yeah, that's. But it, the the good news is Alex said he's gonna fire him immediately. So, <laughs> I mean, you make it a learning lesson for your kid. He don't touch the or, I don't know whether it's a. I don't know what I, did I just say for him. I don't know for her. Whatever. Better. Dude, the stove is hot. Don't anymore. touch it. Now watch as Daddy cooks his eggs in the proper way. Yeah, no, like a regular human, right there. And don't toddlers not move? I mean, at what no, point is it infants toddler? don't move? Toddler, okay. Once toddlers start moving, they're they're little hell beasts, man. Like, <laughs> put a helmet on them or <laughs> her and just whatever. Just they're get gonna eggs see, and here. So when I was raising toddlers. We had sharp edges everywhere. We weren't <laughs> we weren't about protecting no corners. We were like, look, you're gonna learn today, son. Yeah. You're gonna hit that corner, you're gonna cry and bleed and scream and everything, but you're, you're gonna you learn or you're gonna sure. keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. So same thing with the heat, man. It's like um some comedian said, like, um you don't baby proof the oven, you like let them touch it and then it's and then it's baby proof, you know? Like <laughs> yeah. they you're only doing that one. Yeah. yeah. So 
I only there was one time I think I told you the story when I stuck my hand inside the uh the sink to reach over and grab the toaster and it was a stainless steel sink that was covered in water and that's the last time I'll ever do that because it was not the most comforting feeling when my arm felt like it was getting snapped by electricity. Speaking of that, have you ever peed on an electric fence? Did we talk yeah. about this? Oh, we've gone over this. Yeah. Okay, all right. I thought we did, but I wasn't too sure if I was alone in the fact that at one point I made a stupid decision to pee on an electric fence. I think any any boy that has had a grandpa that has had an electric fence on his property has definitely done that. Okay. I feel Billy's and Rednecks have definitely done it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. While they all hold hands just to create <laughs> a big one current of electricity. <laughs> they ride the lightning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, All right, so the, the next and the last thing I'm going to talk about is our confidence level in sports ever starting again. Mine's at a zero. Really? I'm getting like, I, so what do, think, what do you think? The aliens are here. The, well, you, what do you think all these Heyman tweets are about where he's like telling us it's like, and you know, they, they send all those. Div- did you see the, div- the division baseball division breakups? Is it where it's regional and like yeah. the Yankees and Mets are going to play each other a hundred times or something? So why do you think that's all bullshit and they're just trying to like keep no. us like uh, I'm they're trying to need yeah. so many damn tests for uh, to just to get like the players and the everybody that's got to coordinate because they have to put on TV to make money some kind of way because yeah. they're going to have fans. Nope. So, I mean, they got to have all these tests for everybody involved and like, dude, and then did, I didn't see any of his tweets, but I saw some that were like. They're going to expand the rosters and make it like a spring training setup to where like pitchers only go seven or something like that. And then yeah, that's what I heard. Scrubs the, or whatever. The, only, the yeah. only bad part of this whole breakdown was if you if the MLB players come out after the seventh and the minor leaguers play the last two innings to keep them fresh and have work because they're not going to do a minor league system. I'm out on that. Like that we need to like I don't sorry minor league guys. I don't know. Get go form your go to the cages, hit some, get some extra work, go throw to each other. I don't know, but like w- this isn't like everybody gets some playing time in Little League. You know what I'm saying? This is my fucking major league team, and if I if we it, because it, I'm standing. I'm fighting. I don't know if you saw my tweet. I am. I will die on that hill that this year's World Series is legitimate because I think we have a very good chance to win it with this team on paper. But if you're taking my best guys out in the seventh inning, like then I got something to say about that because like we've had like we had like 15 walk offs in 2018. Like we, that ain't happening with fucking the Chester fucking minor leaguer coming up to in the bottom of the ninth to try and win the game for us. So yeah. I don't know. I, I I'm trying to stay positive because I'd like to see something, but I could for sure see like a fucking. July 1st comes and goes, and we're all still standing here holding our dicks, and there ain't nothing happening. So I'm preparing for that as well. So we're on the opposite sides of the fence because you, you're saying it's legitimate, and that's fine. But, like, this is the one year I don't want the Mets to win it because I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, like it. I'm not going to appreciate I'm, it because, like, I mean, dude, it's going to take them, like, spring training is, what, two months long from to get ready for they the regular said two, season? Two to three weeks spring training would be. Oh, they're all going to be trash then. All the <laughs> pitchers will get hurt. I'm hoping these fuckers are still hitting a little bit right now. What else are you doing? You're rich. Like, just go back in your backyard and take they're some They're all cuts. doing TikToks and shit. Yeah, That's you're right. Underwear. Alex Bregman's fucking looking shorter than his girlfriend on all of his TikToks. Damn. I don't even know if that's true. But I'm going to try and slander Alex Bregman in every single episode. That short fucker. <laughs> uh, that's fair. You know, um, so yeah, so we don't have any confidence that uh, we're ever going to see sports again. Agree? I do. I do. No, you don't. I do. I, I disagree. Confidence. I believe no. John Heyman would never lie to me. Your opinion is wrong. I mean, it could <laughs> usually is, but I'd still would like to believe that I see some type of because I don't. What else? What are we? Gonna, I'm literally running out of things to watch. And I know you like are your days are filled and you're not having to live the same experience currently. I know you lived it for a little while, but um, it it's hard out here on these streets, bro. I get home from work and it is just boredom fest. Like your boy's doing five mile walks. Who am I? I don't I don't know. You know? Yeah. And I'm over here watching. I don't. I'm, I'm about to start watching the most ridiculous TV programming. Like, and I'm gonna probably The Bachelor. 
Yeah, my te- my my what do you call it? My uh, what do you call my, it? Female, oh. not testosterone, but uh, oh, your uh, inertia. My, yeah, my um, your uh, uh, energy. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, Estef- yes. <laughs> Gloria Estefan. Yeah, oh man, dude. <laughs> My glory. Did, she was did you have a crush on, back in the yeah, day? Yeah, of course yeah. I did, bro. She Me was like too. the first Latina that, like, you know, came into my life. Really. What about what about Tony Braxton? I was I was hot and cold with her. Like sometimes. Yeah, no, I mean, there Tony Braxton. I feel like that one video. Yeah, um, I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. She okay, that video dress. definitely. I was. Yeah. Um, I was. I enjoyed that as like a 12, 11 year old, whatever it was, for sure. <laughs> I'd come on. I would. I would stop what I was doing and grow a little boner in my pants. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of that, when do you think? In <laughs> speaking of little boners, um, <laughs> somebody I was talking to somebody, and they were saying, uh, like, so they I think it was like eleven years old. They um, and I said that's about eleven, twelve. That's when about uh, they were talking about their kids, and I said you're coming up upon you know the old alone time, the little ex too extra too long in the bathroom. Um, real soon, and they were like, "No way, way too young." I'm like thinking to myself, "Eh, what's 11 years old? Fifth grade? No, younger." Yeah, no, it's about fifth grade because my daughter just turned 12, and she's going in. She's in sixth grade. When do you? Th- it's too long ago. I can't remember. I I feel like sixth, seventh grade is when you start maybe really thinking about. So, well, I mean, when I was in seventh grade, there was a girl in my grade that had got pregnant. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, it's like sixth. I, I think I told the person like sixth grade, you better watch out because yeah, you start bathroom. getting confused. Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom's door is closed a little extra long. You know what's going down. But I never was that bathroom jerk off guy. <laughs> yeah, I just always jerked off in my bedroom, which, and I know, I, so I know I said I didn't have like a jerk off sock, but I mean, yeah. I had like a jerk off t shirt at one point, I think. That, yeah, just to throw no, in the dirt there. Bad. Yeah, waste a couple. That was just released. I just probably kind of might cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> what were you listens. talking about that I just spun Dude. off into where I used to jerk off as a teenager? I can't even remember. Yep. Well, yep. welcome to the Let Me Just Say podcast, episode sixty nine. Do we have any voicemails? I don't think so because I didn't really. I have man, my like, I don't know. Mm. You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I hear you, bro. I didn't really tell anybody we were recording. No, who cares? Shit sucks anyway. What else? Is, there's not. Was that the last thing that we were talking about? Yeah, I was just gonna tell you that I got. Apparently, while I've been gone, my wife has got two Alexas. So the government's embedded oh, in my you're house. Fucked, now. bro. Yeah, you're, they're definitely listening to you recording everything. They're probably going to have like whenever. A big pro, high profile murder happens, they now can piece together enough of you talking mm. to like just put out a recorded tape of you saying, I killed this person. Yeah, a straight confession. Just yeah, patch I, together. I admit to killing this person. Like, they're just going to just piece together all yeah. the words you said. Because, like, right now, I'll just say, I admit to killing that person. And they're going to be like, Oh, got his ass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Sucks. So, why, why though? What was the reasoning behind the purchase? Uh, she had money. <laughs> so what have you utilized them for you know what you need to get to really like make the purchase a little bit more worthwhile is mm. some of that phillips hughes lighting in mm. your house and then you can control lights verbally you know turn on the turn off the living room lights so like phillips that. phillips hughes went from pitching for the yankees to making light bulbs <laughs> philip philip hugh Phil, what is it called what did i say um philip hughes what's isn't that philip isn't that philip hughes that played for the Philip Pete, more like Phil PU, because he sucked. <laughs> I hope he listens. Hey, Philip Hughes. Hey, what, what was that guy's name? Phil Hughes. Oh, yeah. Phil Hughes, not Philip Hughes. I mean, somebody, at some point, he was Philip. It's called, come on, you don't know what Philip, like the, the like lighting company? Like Dude. long-standing brand? No, that's not, I guarantee, it's not Philip Hughes. <laughs> it's, it's Philip's Hugh. <laughs> Phillips Hughes, dude, it's not Phillips Hughes. What are you? T- I'm look, man. I just looked up right at my light bulbs, and I, I I'm seeing stars Phillip. now. Company Phillips. Phillips. Ever- okay, yeah. What's with the hue thing? Hue, like hue, like a color palette. Oh, Isn't a hue like a, a, a hue? color? Yeah, like yeah, H U. Okay, I got you. Know. <laughs> yeah, spell it. Spell it. 
H H Do you want the e country of origin? U. Um, oh. But yeah, let me show you. Actually, yeah. I installed them. I have them. But if you didn't notice, my lighting is a little bright. It has a little more of a pop to it here today. Yeah, because your traps are just fucking banging right through the screen. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but no, <laughs> normally, <laughs> um, it's like, a, uh, but now I can do this. Look it. Watch Ooh. the screen. Oh, and enjoy. What? You just turned Dodger blue. <gasps> now oh, it's red. It's like, uh, oh, my God. It's the red light district. Oh, now we got the Green Goblin, Sonic's colors. I like it. So, um, it's pretty neat. And uh, it's just a one light bulb does all that. Yep. One light bulb and a little control panel here, Whoa, if you can see. Oh, I see it. Yeah. So, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> you, back up there. And now, you, now the government has your fingerprint because you put it to the camera. So you are really <laughs> fucked, and you probably have committed a murder already somewhere. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, maybe they'll let me continue this podcast from behind the clink bars. Speaking of uh, the clink, I saw on the list that you broke a law. That was when I was at the party, man. I broke oh, the old six yeah, football. You broke, we you weren't yeah, supposed to football. gather. Yeah, that was me admitting to a crime. I wish that some Karen would have came up on you guys and started like, yes, he had the YouTube moment and you went viral like with a fucking bean <laughs> spinach dip chip up into your face and Karen yeah. recording you like, what are you doing out here in public, you motherfucker? Yeah, and I'm just, just rubbing my face all over some old guy's nipples or something. <laughs> yeah. Shaking hands with a 90-year-old man while eating cheese dip or <laughs> spinach dip with, with your bare hands, no gloves, no masks. No masks, no. nothing, um, yeah. No, we were raw-dogging it. Uh, oh, geez. 70-year-old men, definitely raw-dog. Do you think, it, like, when they have sex, they wear fucking rubbers and shit? And Do old you think 70-year-old men are having sex? Yeah, I think that old folks' homes, man, like, why, if, why not? If you can still get a boner, why not fucking give it to Bernice down the, down the street there a little bit? Because you know Bernice is, if she's still getting drippy, why not get down? I don't know where I just made that word up from, but that's just kind of perverted. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, if yeah. I think perverts are perverts, man, no matter the age. Yeah, but at some point your libido starts just, like, going right down the pooper. I got a pill for that. I oh, forgot about drugs. Yeah. Frank, you're the drug guy. You know everything about that. I mean, whoa, bro. What happened? Why am I the drug guy? Because I smoke. You're always on drugs. Yeah. I mean, relax. It's a plant, okay? Listen, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Sorry. It's I'm okay. the murder guy. You're the drug guy. So the oh, government's geez. got both of us. I actually own an Alexa as well, but I unplugged it a very long time ago. Uh, I yeah. just got rid of it. You think but the only reason I got mine because you. I like when I go, when I wasn't home and the dogs were home alone, I'd like to leave a little music on on that guy who likes, I feel bad if it's just silent in the house all day. So I'll leave a little, a little, a little, <clears throat> little oldie station on in the background and let my, my dogs enjoy some music. So that's why I kind of bought the Alexa um, because I could just say, yo, Alexa, play a fire playlist for my dogs. Okay, coming right up. <laughs> You never, you never, Bubs, you never like hooked him up with like any background music or anything. He just, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits in complete silence and boredom. Well, he has, you have a cat, right? Two cats, yeah. What's the cat's names? I've never even heard. The cat's name, the white one is, um, shit. Pinky? No. Um, see, we've had a lot of cats. Not all of them are still with us oh, this I mean, day. That's how cats operate. Pepper. And now the white one is Pepper, and then the black one is Panther. Oh, I like those names. I didn't name um, either. Well, did you name Bubba? Hell yeah, I named Bubba after um, Bubba Watson when he won the Masters. I like it. Where did you, where, where did you get Bubba? Can you tell us the origin story of Bubba? Um, yeah, we were living on Fort Knox, and we illegally got him. So I'm just going to incriminate myself again because we weren't <laughs> supposed to have dogs, but we were moving well, off how post. Could not just, let people on a base. We could, no, we have could. Pu- we, we just pet listen. Pet. We just had to go through the proper procedures to get a dog, fill out forms and shit. But we knew where we were leaving. And anyway, so um, Leah went to the pound. I stayed home with the kids, and then she took a picture of him. And she was like, how about this guy? And I was like, he looks dope as hell because he's a cute little puppy. Yeah, he was probably like four months old. He wasn't that small. 
I'll, I can send you a picture, but he I'd had like that. giant, giant paws, but he was like super skinny. You could see his ribs. Yep. And so, um, yeah, I brought him home and he, the best dog ever, except for when he went through the phase where he's chewing up all my blankets and shit and taking him outside. <laughs> uh, it's always a little touch and go there. <laughs> it's always, it's always good when you get a semi good dog. I mean, every dog for the most part, if you had a dog that didn't chew something, you probably got oh, like yeah. a broken dog, but, yeah. um, <laughs> no, he's but he's awesome we've never put him through any kind of obedience training Same and way. i can let him i can let him out front and he will never he won't leave me yeah because he just wants to be where i am yeah. and if, so like there, when it snowed out here and i was shoveling i just let him out there no collar no leash like but he didn't go nowhere he didn't even go to the street we don't even have that big a yard yeah and he would just chill right where i was at Man, and i've dogs, never like, I've, I've ne- but i've had dogs before they get just that little it was just like Walter Payton, little six <laughs> inches of daylight, and they're yeah, gone they're like gone. a rocket. Yeah, yeah, three neighborhoods over. Yeah, the same with me. My dogs do the same. Like if I go outside, they'll they'll go around a little bit in the yard, just smell some shit, but they will not like. Yeah. I can't even if I go outside, my dog like Lily will start crying like a like if I go outside that I'm just sitting. She just sits at the door and cries like, <laughs> "Why are you outside without me, bro? Like, what are you doing? I need to be right there with you." Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh. I'm a. I appreciate you being a supporter of your local pounds and not. I mean. Oh yeah. You know. I see the background is is new. Did I feel like you moved the computer? Yeah, I didn't move. She moved. She just flipped it around. What's just boredom? Uh, she just likes to change a lot. Yeah. I do that. I I'm similar in that regards too. I feel like if you switch it up a little bit, it feels like you're maybe like living in a new spot. Sometimes you know, it's like mm-hmm. when the house gets stale. Switch the furniture up a little bit. You get a little bit of a new vibe. Re, reinvigorate, reinvigorated. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I remember so. coming home from school. Sometimes my mom would switch a couch onto it onto the other wall, and I'd be like, "Oh shit, <laughs> we live in a new house." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's yeah. only four feet away from where it used to be, but I feel like a king now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm about yeah. to I'm about to see this 27 inch um, Sony tube TV in a whole different way. And bro, bro, speaking of those tube TVs, man, like, I don't imagine if we had to go back to watching those, like they were like, fuck it. You know what? We're not, we can't make flat screen TVs anymore. They're 50 inches. We have to go back to watching 27 inch tube TVs, like baseball. 27 inches was giant too. <laughs> yeah, you was huge and yeah. weighed like four bazillion pounds. And that was it. What I was going to bring up to trying to move them bitches was <laughs> even worse. <laughs> yep. I twice moved into apartments that were upstairs in my 20, like early 20s when they were still kicking and i would uh, when i was about to move i considered just throwing it off the balcony and saying fuck it i don't care about doing this thing because it weighed so much uh but like dude when we when you go back and see like old baseball in non-hd like how did we how do we survive that i was just dude i was watching nolan ryan's no hitter today a little bit and it was like i thought i was gonna have a a seizure yeah are these human beings but (laughs) I'm, i'm thinking I'm thinking when we were watching it, it was not like that. Like no, it was definitely it better quality. Seem like that. No, yeah, I agree. Like that's why I'm like when I see it, I'm like, what? This is was this a different time that I didn't live in? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I remember that shit happening, but to me, it looked like you know awesome. Oh yeah, especially you got a, a bigger TV. You thought you were, you know, got the jumbotron. <laughs> yeah. We we had gotten a TV from my aunt and uncle that had a bullet hole through it but still worked per- like <laughs> just through like the side of it yeah. like the um just to the right of where the screen is the but i'm like was. there's no chance you could have a bullet hole through a tv today uh, anywhere and it would yeah. still work yeah. like a champion <laughs> yeah for sure i remember uh my uh, one buddy in high school his parents got one of the projection tvs like first yeah. oh my god bro like <laughs> that was so amazing we used to play nintendo 64 on it for like hours and hours and hours yeah. but like it was when so I, dim though wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was so <laughs> any darks like but it was huge, on... but it was huge so you're like this is the best i can't see <laughs> shit but it was awesome <laughs> yeah like so we throw on a movie like you like imagine trying to watch dark night or like a batman movie oh, on like yeah. one of those things it's like uh, game of thrones that night <laughs> night battle did you like the last that week's episode of game of thrones yeah bro it sounded great I didn't see shit. <laughs> yeah, the blacks. like you go back and like oh so because people are still funny enough we'll still so at the best western uh we'll do so we have a recycling 
<laughs> we have a recycling program, yeah. and uh, people are still holding. You, when, it blows my mind when we st- we get those old pro Joes in. Yeah. I'm like, who still had this in their house, and yeah. what? Why were they? Were they, either this was in the garage, and they were just sitting on it, and this was their chance to get rid of it, or they were really still <laughs> using this shit in 2020. And I want to go to their house and just be like, let me in because I want to see the rest of what 1995 looks like in your house. The house I bought in Kentucky, they had one, and I asked them to leave it, like part of the sale, because I was like, "Ooh, that's because they had it mounted from the." Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like perfect; it was like some coat yeah. hangers that they had like <laughs> wired to keep it up there. But one of the bulbs burnt out, like it, like soon right after football season started, because I had the project the big ass projection on the wall, and this and the and the picture was pretty good for what it was. But then I also had a couple TV set, so I had the good little man cave going on. Yeah, and then the damn thing burnt out in like week three. And then I, I looked up how much a replacement bulb was. Buy a new TV. Yeah, and so I bought a whole new projector, but I couldn't get it to, like, the picture was just trash. And I just said, screw that projector, and I just bought a bigger TV. <laughs> I, I'm so bad with money. I mean, it just solves problems, man. You know what's easier than fi- figuring out how to make that TV work and fix it and make it look better? Just buy one, one that looks better. Hell yeah. I'm with you. I'm, I'm team spend a little bit of money to just make everything easier in my life. Yep. Those fix it guys, handymen, whatever. They're they're great. And I'd love to have one living here that I could just make do shit for free. Yep. Um, but I don't. So I'm gonna i I'm gonna just depend on other people to do shit for me. Amen. You know? Are you sure we don't have voicemail? Because I'm pretty sure somebody on Twitter said they're about to leave us one. When? Right before just right before I came down here. Um there's nothing. Well, they better hurry up and call, cause. Oh, if there's nothing now, then forget it. No, nope. the last okay. call is from April twenty first. So she lied. Okay, cool. Who was it? I don't want to. She's right. always don't a, be a snitch. She's always accusing me of of blasting her voice. So I'm not gonna. I'm yeah, not gonna don't do be it. a snitch. But um, and uh, but I didn't even tweet today that. Uh, yeah, if you want me to be perfectly honest. I forgot we were recording until you texted me and yeah. said I got all the topics ready, which was 15 minutes before we started recording. So everybody out there who listens to all these other podcasts and they're all Cheers. professionally cut up and done well. I Joe asked me if we wanted a podcast at probably like what time today? Maybe 10, noon, 10, yeah. 30, 11. I don't know. Sometime yeah. earlier in the day. Yeah. And then uh, literally at 745 texted me and was like, yo, I got all the shit. And I pretended like I remembered, but I legit was like <laughs> sitting here, like just about to go into a, co- a weed coma, not even thinking yeah. that we we're recording. But uh, I mean, that's the life of podcasts. You know, you either really have a professional shit or you just wing it and you're funny as fuck like me and Joe. So, yeah, but we're trash. So <laughs> I mean, you're right. But yeah. All right, so I guess we're good then. We all yeah, done. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be. We don't need to. Uh, I don't. I don't. It's, yeah, we're good. Yeah. I think this was a good. One. I think. I think we redeemed ourselves. Yeah, I agree. Um, and this was another Joe episode. It just seems that maybe I shouldn't be the host anymore because I just suck at hosting. And no, uh, it's just I was a little. I, I, no, this is not you. This was this about me. Energized was, today. Yeah, I just. I don't like. I just didn't know what my deal was, even in the moment last time. I mean, I sometimes just, you just like sometimes no, you go over no for excuse. five, bro. No, sometimes you go over yeah, five, and I struck out five times, just like John Carlos Stan. <laughs> uh, could you imagine striking out five? Yeah, that's gotta be right shit. after you get traded, and you think you're yeah, like it's... ten hundred thousand million dollar contract or whatever. And, like, and you know you can't just go home and like not turn on TV and see them <laughs> or not log on to so like it's you every, every it's, yeah. In like the biggest city in the world, yeah. yeah. No, you, you're done, son. <laughs> no, there's no hiding from it, you know. <laughs> no. And you know those motherfuckers were terrible, like to him that night by the fifth strikeout. So, oh yeah, you know they just. Oh, can you imagine like you go in the locker room, you're just getting roasted by your own boys. I, I don't like striking. Out. I didn't like striking out in Little League when it's it was a going like. Time. They <laughs> yeah. don't care. Dude, I don't know if you've watched Sports Center ever, but they don't care. You're right. Strikeouts don't fucking matter, but when you get five of them. That kind yeah. of matter. Five, and then you lose. Didn't they lose too? Yeah, and you're and you're built like fucking the Incredible Hulk. Like, yeah, yeah come on, bro, you got you got to chill out. Yeah. Popcorn muscles. <laughs> Speaking of muscles, did I tell you that my arms are shrinking, bro? Yeah, but they still look pretty big. Thanks, Doc. I yeah. appreciate you. You're my number one hype man. Hell yeah! If I ever become a rapper, also with lawsuits. 
Yeah, yeah, my lawyer as well. <laughs> if I ever become a, a rapper, would you like to be my hype man who just gets on the stage and yeah. just every the... like third or fourth word of a rhyme you say, you know, like yeah, yeah, let's what? go. Yeah, I'll wait. I got a towel that yeah. I'll wave yeah. around. Yeah, and some water. I'll I'll squirt, squirt the crowd with or whatever. Yeah, just, like, oh man, that. that's what, imagine that feeling of being like. And there's just a huge crowd of sweaty people, and you got that water bottle, and you just. <laughs> and normally, people would punch you in your fucking face if you threw a bottle of water on them, like just yeah. out of nowhere. But they're like, ah, rain me with it, like a porn star taking a load to the face. <laughs> they're just willingly waiting for that water that was backwashed. Yeah. You just took a sip out of, drank yeah. it, and then flung it all over the crowd, and everybody's just like, bring it on. How big is your bottle of water? Because I don't think I could get a bottle of water, like a sixteen point nine ounce bottle of water, all over the crowd. Unless yeah. it's a really small. Unless it's like, let get me just say, the crowd, there's like three of us, like that, <laughs> like that one video of the guy on the roof. And there's like three people down there with the <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I mean, the power of you, like ha- that, you feel just seeing people willingly want oh, to. Yeah. Be- throw the, your backwash water on that's got to be an adrenaline rush especially a hype man like you have no pressure like you don't have to hit notes all you gotta do is just jump around looking like an idiot and waving a towel around saying let's go yeah, yeah. get them up get them up yeah before we before we log off here uh i do speaking of the is just something along the lines of that like so <clears throat> one year the grizzlies did uh the fresno grizzlies are a local triple a team here an affiliate to the washington nationals but they've been a couple of different uh affiliates the, they were the Giants, weren't they? Because I they think were I the saw Giants. them play in Portland one time. Yep, they were the Giants, and then they went to the fucking Houston Astros, and and then the Washington Nationals. But uh, anyway, they did a an event one time where before a game they held a home run derby, and the special guest that you were competing against was none other than Jose Canseco. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was competing in a home run nice. derby against regular Joes, but like some of the regular Joes were mashing home runs, like they were. Oh, like they were like the softball guys with the big yeah. towels hanging out of their pants. Other yeah. pants. So, uh, my buddy worked for the Grizzlies, and he asked, like, he was like, "Hey, dude, like, we had this home run derby. Like, Jose Canseco's coming out. Like, I need a favor. Can you go in the outfield and just shag? Ball? Help me get some shag ball. Oh, get out of here." No, really? dude. What do you mean? Yeah. Seiko, though. Like, no, and, I said, I, I'm saying get out of here. Like, that's awesome. I oh, wanted to okay. do that. I thought you were saying I should have turned it down. But yeah, no. and it was full <laughs> crowd. Like, Jose Canseco's there. Yeah. So, you know, people are coming out. Oh, yeah. um, so, I'm in the Sasquatch outfield. Sasquatch, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the outfield, and the guys from the other team are warming up down the left field line, like, throw the, the bullpen down there. And then guys are in the deep in the left field corner, like, throwing and stretching. And they tell me, like, one of the minor league players turns to me and he's like, hey, dude, I need you to go further, closer, closer up to the dirt and stop any, like, one, you know, like, line drive, one hoppers that are going to hit hit us in the back of the head. And I'm like, wait a minute. You want me to go up while Jose Canseco, former major leaguer, is taking underhand? Because, like, they did a, a baseball and then they did softball. So he competed in both. So I'm like, you want me to go play... 20 feet off the dirt when there's a former major league guy who used to hit monster shots yeah. and I'm not a major leaguer. You want me to go field basically shortstop <laughs> right now? And like, I, like this, an athlete, I, was like, cause. <laughs> I was like, okay, here I go. I'm up there. Like Jose Canseco is fucking 70 feet away from me, just launching missiles. And I'm just like, this is the day I die. Um, but, one? It, no, none of them came at me, unfortunately. Uh, I caught a couple, you know, like pop ups from other people. But uh, long story short, it was a cool experience. But when I was running off the field, I still had one of the baseballs in my glove that I shagged. And, and like I was trotting into the dugout and I did the old like there's a kid above the dugout. Yeah. And I did the old like toss oh, up shit. into the crowd. Yeah. Let me just say, top five feeling moment in my life, bro. When I kid, like, just I saw his face. And I'm, he doesn't know who the fuck I am. Like, he, you know, he possibly thought I was someone important because I was like wearing, you know, like I had a my baseball gear, not like pants or anything, yeah. but uh, like, yeah, dude. Just so I, it, 
I would do that every day. You wouldn't have to pay me to be a major leaguer. Just let me throw a ball into the stands after every inning. Um, might sound corny, but the look on the kid's face was uh, it was it was price enough pay pay enough for me to play baseball or whatever you want to say. So yeah. it was maybe, cool. Maybe that he thought he got a ball from uh, what's his name Gardner from the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I'm Jason. What was his name? Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. Yeah, it's been too long since sports been on. I forgot everybody. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of sports, have you caught up on the Last Dance? Um, I fucking hate you. I've man. seen like I've seen most of it. I mean, okay. I don't. It's hate hard you. to watch like just on my phone, yeah, and right. then pay attention to Twitter. Like That's I good. watch I it, and then the commercial comes on. I go to Twitter, and then I forget. <laughs> and by the time I log back onto ESPN app, I'm like a few minutes behind. But what do you want to talk about? I saw oh, it. Never mind. Skip that. Let's the cussing was cool. To- We'll we'll talk about that when it's completed, I I guess okay. more. But um, I saw you brought up David Koresh today on the timeline, and I asked you a couple maybe two weeks ago to watch uh, that uh, mini series on Netflix. So have you completed that? I spent my whole reset day last Saturday in South Beach, South North Dakota, North Dakota. Just back um, that out. Just met. I got all episodes on Saturday, or all but one episodes on Saturday, and I finish it off finish it off on Sunday night. And let me just say. That guy, yeah, quite the uh, salesman. <laughs> yeah, I bro. mean, not only is he gonna like sell you a car and a guitar and all that, but he will also talk you into giving you his wife. <laughs> and yeah. Let me just say, I don't understand how anybody can fall for that fucking pyramid scheme. Like, how <laughs> are you like can, literally could you imagine... doing the pyramid with all their wives? <laughs> could you imagine David Koresh coming up to you one day while you're grilling a hot dog, putting his hand on your shoulder and being like, hey, Joe, let me just say, I think maybe it's a good idea if I put a baby in your, <laughs> in your wife because God, he told me I should. But I don't know if you noticed... Once he started feeling pleasure, he got off her. Yeah, oh yeah. So it was strictly he didn't have business. Sex pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just it was, business. Yeah, he, he didn't bust nuts for pleasure. He busted nuts to have more fucking people to live in his little whatever you want to call it. Okay, but do you want to talk about Tibbs? Which one was that? The young guy. That oh, yeah, like yeah. The, the guy that bear. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then. So I have inside information that... Because I was like, man, that's a good-looking dude. It sucks that he couldn't, you know, hammer time with Ruth or and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, turns out in real life, he's like a fat guy, and they really did him some Ruth. favors. They did yeah. some favors with that. Oh, show. you you did some research on all these people? No, I just know a guy that knows some stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just say, I <laughs> did, did I not... do research? Are you <laughs> thick in the head? <laughs> <laughs> I did not know, and it's gonna get a little bit grim here, but I did not know that they died in like that fucking lock in that. You don't I, remember I that? knew that they burnt to death, but yeah. I didn't know they were locked in uh, literally like a fucking tomb. Often, yeah. Yeah, like to, yeah. to just die. And then the other people were locked in the bus. Like, bro, yeah. let me just say, I'm not one of those anti uh, conspiracy government fucking conspiracy, but the FBI and the ATF really fucked that shit up. Like, how, which. Good thing my Alexa's not plugged in, or else I'd be having my door kicked down right now. <laughs> but yeah. how do you fuck that shit up so bad, man? How, how, like, it's just impossible to do that. They just came with a thunder, man. I mean, you remember the part where the the um, interrogate? No, investigate? No, the guy that does the talking, like talks him down. Who's that guy? Uh, na- navigator? No. <laughs> the um, aviator? <laughs> the, uh... Nationalator? So that word up. Negotiator. Guy. <laughs> yeah, the negotiator. Um, he was like, when he was leaving, and he's like, you know why the sheriff around here doesn't even need a gun when he goes? Because he like talks to them. He doesn't yeah. just like go and like throw on like some screaming zombies all, all yeah, hours of the night. Oh, bro. Yeah. But then that was a actually actually a pretty gangster move when they got the generator going. Yeah, yeah. And then he just he had played him, the song. Dude, and he was like ripping it up. I dude, was like I almost was like, I'm gonna search this song on Spotify. Did he create that song or was I was No, and I'm I'm with you. Like I super meant to go to YouTube and look for some like actual footage of all this stuff and I forgot <laughs> got distracted yeah, by other Because that song was pretty fire, bro. Let's be really? real. And he, yeah, he was jamming too. Like that, whoever that actor was, that mullet and everything, the wireframe glasses, yeah. he pulled it off, man. I would have given it to my wife. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, so like, and I mean, it's like, like, why even, like, I'm not going to be, I don't think it, it was all fucked up. Like, why even go out there and do all that shit? And I mean, I don't know. I'm glad that I think they use that as a learning lesson and they don't, uh, they don't use tear, tear gas, gas on people anymore. Uh, but, uh, you know, whatever. I wonder how much of it is actually true. I've watched documentaries, but I don't but I like. Mean, it's based off the book of that um, aviator. Yeah, so... yeah. He ain't telling lies, probably. I would assume. But it seems like he was, he kind of had an axe to grind if they like, yeah, threw him at him. not like so. the old uh, smash and dash where whatever FBI, the old fucking gun toting. Like, like, bro, they had tanks outside? Yeah, that's what I remember is the tank going through the building when I was on fire. <laughs> yeah, when I, went, I remember that like kind of live, you know, because yeah. that was what 1993. Yeah, I think so. Right yeah. on that. And then, um, and then also my source that I talked to, he said that that Timothy McVeigh guy. That's why he blew up the Oklahoma City yeah. building. Yeah, because it was retaliation yeah. for that. I didn't know that. I, I that was a wild time. The early 90s, man. There was some bad shit that happened back then. Not um, to mention the Sonics kept getting just screwed out of the freaking playoffs <laughs> yeah. by the freaking Nuggets. Yeah, 95 was tough, right? That was 95 where you guys were really good, right? Maybe not. When Jordan, when did Jordan, no, not, when did 96 you guys 96 is when they lost to Jordan in the finals. Okay, 96, um, yeah. 90, was it 95 there, the number one seed? 90 something. I don't, I don't 95 know. or 94, maybe. When did Jordan play baseball? 94, I think. Well, it was when the Rockets, yeah, it was when the Rockets won. 93 or 94. Freaking Kembe Mutombo and Robert Pack and fucking Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf. We don't need to talk about this. Yeah, I mean, we've both seen our fair share of uh, sports sorrow. And, uh, I mean, yeah. it's built us to the care, the people we are today. I agree. So, all right, well. I uh, I had fun talking to you as always. Great topics today. Per usual, you knocked it out the park when you are the host. Um, thanks for everybody that listens. Sorry we didn't let everybody know we were going to record, but as Joe and I do, we kind of fly off the the old seat of our pants and fuck a schedule. And we just decided we were going to record a few hours ago, and then Joe had to remind me because I forgot. Yeah. Let anarchy reign supreme. That's our yep. motto. Mm-hmm. Hey, make sure you put the um, Unsolved Mysteries beat at the end of this, please. I come. It's just, just gonna scare me. Okay, just I will try. look for it. If it's, I, I mean, not look for it. It's gonna be on YouTube. I know where I could find it, but uh, uh, I could keep probably make that. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say about? Um, fuck! I was literally going to say something that I forget now. Yeah. But uh. What no, don't play it. Oh my god, I'm scared already, bro. It's just like that part right there. Oh, man. Look, look at the face now. of him. <laughs> just his face is like I like him, but he's a little yeah. creepy. Yeah. We should have done the whole episode with this as the background music. <laughs> he looks like a skeleton. With just skin wrapped around it. And no soul. Like, he's <laughs> just going to judge you. And you will be guilty. Uh, uh, let's create a mystery that gets on that brings Unsolved Mysteries back. I want to bring Robert Stack back. Do you want to bring a Ouija board to the next episode? Uh, no. no I will not, I am... Uh, no, I, I, let me go on the record. Let me just say, okay. I am team fuck a Ouija board. I, oh, I'm me too. Yeah. Board. No, me too. I'm not... Mm-mm. I don't. I've seen too many movies. I'm not opening a portal to the gates of hell <laughs> with the Ouija board, yeah. all because I want to get uh, unsolved mysteries back on the air. <laughs> we could really want, probably no, prop a skeleton soul. up and yeah. and put some blue eyes on him because I think that guy had blue eyes. God damn it, man, 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 <laughs> man! That is a sick beat, though. It's not really because when those. With those little bells break in or whatever those are, that's when it really gets scary. And like that's what I picture in your head that you hear yeah. when you're getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> and you, when you watched it, you had the lights out, right? You oh yeah, to, that's yeah. what made it scarier. You can never watch it on. You never because it was on at like nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah. It was late, you know. Yeah. So 
you the t- it was it's lights off hours by then you know you were so, too scared to get off the couch to go turn them on yeah so you just slept on the couch too on a school night like get, a, get murdered <laughs> <laughs> oh man right. i'm you. very happy that i'm not alone and being frightened by uh unsolved <laughs> mysteries that's it's just i find out new things about you every day joe that make me feel better about myself so Great. thank you for that i love you i love you too Talk soon.